In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a custom function in Zoho CRM. And this is the help link you can go to find more detail. So assume this is the CRM lead and uh, you want to copy the leads, each lead system unique ID to a field, a text field. I created this one. It's just a text field, 20 uh, uh, character long. So, uh, and then I want every time a lead created, copy this ID and to be saved here for later use. And one of a uh, uh, project, we need this ID when this Soho CM leads converted. Okay, how we do that? Uh, first, we go to create a workflow rule. I will create a workflow rule. Go to lead, test, copy lead. ID next the record is created and uh, criteria no I don't need any criteria because it's just created now a uh, custom function here is the one I'm going to add one and select create your own function name and copy system lead ID Add a description you can add this is a test and also function name okay, okay. now argument that means uh, what kind of a value you need to pass in here this function right so in here is I will create my own uh, argument is my lead ID the value I will pick is the lead ID this is the system lead ID okay. Done. so this function will say every time a workflow rule uh, that workflow rule uh, executed the function will be executed as well and the pass in the value is my lead ID the my lead ID is the this leads ID I'm going to pass in after I pass in now I write some function and save this value to this field all right so first you need is set a variable I need to change that the passing integer to a string for later use for next uh, function to use string lead ID equal to input input that's mean the argument and my lead id dot to string so my lead id this is the integer come to here and change to string and become this assigned to this value now once this value string id i get now next function I'm going to save back to that leads that field All right, so you need to use the call function so who see I am going to update record module lead ID is string lead ID this is the ID Need to be string type value okay so the value is this what the field you need that value to be copied so this is the field I need to get that value and then the value originally from this one this is the one right This is the response. Uh, doesn't matter for this case, but we you need to type something, so it's a return. All right. Before I go any further, let's double check. So who the lead? So this is the lead, and um, I'm looking for this based on this ID. Right, this ID. I'm going to search it. 
I'm going to update this lead. What I update? Update the, the ID, string, type, and save to here. So let's, if you save it, if anything wrong, uh, it will pop up the error message. If not, this time I don't have any error, so it's saved. So if you go to here, if you click, and you can modify it if there is anything wrong. Right, but right now it's okay. So I'm going to, now let's do a test. So I will clone this lead. So that can be, it's a new one. So that workflow rule can be uh, executed. Now, lead ID right now is empty. Save. This is the ID. 0045 is the last four digits. Let's have a look. You cannot see right now. You need to refresh the page, and then you can see the result. Okay, it's copied. So in summary, uh, Zoho CIM customer function is very powerful. You can use that way to pass the ID and eventually collect all the fields value in this form and do anything you want. To to manipulate the data or do the uh, very complex calculation or if else logic condition. Hope that helped. Thank you.